Good fish, man. Oh, wow, that was a good one. Losing time, I'm fading fast. I just want to make it last. Try to let go of the past. I close my eyes and brace the blast. Sleepless nights and there we go. Restless nights to the hell and back. What's my purpose? What do I go? Slippery surface, a heart attack. That is nice. Nice. It's not. Sometimes you just gotta believe there's something that will give you relief. That is a There's nice size speck of trout, people. What you need, what you need. It's on. Oh my God, I just hit a freaking tarpon, people. Oh, you just spit it. It's a very chilly, chilly day here. Uh, air temperature is probably 50. I can just imagine what the water temperature is. Won't know until I get the kayak in the water. Uh, this is a week after the, the ladies event and uh, the temperature obviously dropped quite a bit um, so I, I don't want to downplay uh, you know the, the, the conditions um, it's cold for South Florida it's cold water temperature is probably very chilly um, I will be wearing waders and protective clothing and all of that and I also have a ditch bag uh, a pair of sweats and a t-shirt just in case something does happen at least I have something dry to put back on um, so, I mean, nothing that I haven't experienced up north uh, I mean I fished all year round up north uh, the last 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 two years I was up there I fished out of a kayak all year round so I mean this is not nothing I haven't done or seen before but you know it's it's been two years since I've I've, uh, I've been up there, so anyway, uh, today we are going to do, um, we're going to try for some sheep's head. Uh, that's the plan. I'm going to try to get those to those fishing shacks and get, uh, get some sheep's head, um, but we'll see. Um, my bait shop did not have any crab, so I got, uh, I got some shrimp. Um, so we'll see what that, we'll see what happens with that. Um, yeah, so that's the plan for today. We're uh, going to try to hit those shacks and uh, go from there. Shouldn't be too bad tide-wise. It's not supposed to be negative. So this is, should be just a normal winter tide. So I'm hoping to be able to pedal the whole way once I get out of, you know, once I get out a little bit. But we'll see. So stick around. All right, we're on the water. Um, it's already starting to warm up. I mean, I could already take this jacket off. I'm dying here. Uh, water temperature, 55. 55 degrees, so it is definitely chilly. Got a long way to go to get to those shacks. Um, may have to change tactics uh, and plans. I mean, it's already almost noon time. It's a very late, later start. So I really only have a couple hours. So I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see when I get up here, I'm gonna see what time it is, and see how long it took me to get there. And, kind of go from there um, yeah would have liked to get an earlier start but you know I mean this morning it was 40 degrees so I did not want to start at 40 degrees so we'll see what happens here There's all the shacks, and unfortunately the tide is not uh, not kind to me because we're just about at low tide. So as you can see, that one is like completely out of the water, and the ones around that island are pretty pretty high and dry. So I see this old this must have been a shack at one point. That one looks like it might be falling in. So if I get nothing here. See, I'm in two, two and a half feet of water now. But I mean, I had to paddle most of the way to get here. High tide is at like 2.30 or something. Or 1.30, I think it's 
I'm sorry, no, low tide is at like 1.30. So the rest of the day will be all incoming, but because it's such a late start, I don't have a ton of time, but at least I got some depth out here. So if this doesn't produce, I might hit one of those two over there and uh, see what happens here. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what we can find here. my first bite. Yep. Here's my first bite. All right. There are here. There we go. Oh, wow. That is a sheep set. There we go. There we go. There we go. First sheep said, nice, nice. All right, now I gotta figure out oh, how much, how big they are to keep. I think they gotta be 12 inches, if I'm not mistaken. This guy might be a little too small, I'm not sure yet. Let's see, let's get him on the gripper. go my first sheep's head nice first sheep's head let's see what he measures man let's see what he measures at well he's he's 14 so I'm pretty sure I can keep him let me uh, let me get my phone so I can make sure. But I'm pretty sure I remember seeing 12 inches for sheep's head. 12 inches, I can keep eight. Well, there's my first. Let's get a picture of Mr. Sheep's head for prosperity. Sheepy. that in there. Now this guy will come home. So we're gonna put him once I get that out. Oh, nice. Reverse. Back out of here without getting my my line caught again. Alright. Nice. Nice. Cheapy. Cheapy. Let's get another shrimp on. See if we can get it on. So what I'm doing is all I'm, this is kind of a cheapy, 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 cheapy way to do it. This is just a, a small circle hook. I think it's a number two or a number one actually. I think it's a one aught or a number one, whatever you want to say. I guess a one aught and a one are actually two different hook sizes. But anyway, I'm just kind of hooking this the same way I do for a redfish, just around the brain. And I'm just dropping it down between these pilings. I got two little, uh, two very, very small pinch weights. Yeah, you know, I feel like I'm going back to my 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 young kid days. Get days putting a worm and some sinkers, and uh, I'm just dropping it down. And I'm just waiting for a tug.
there's one, there's got to be others, right? Sheep said they're schooling fish, if I'm not mistaken. Let's try over there. Let's try over here. Oh, oh. All right, someone's there. Someone's definitely there. I gotta get that guy on ice pretty soon. Oh yeah, right there. Ooh. Ooh. That's a good one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yes, I love this. Oh, why haven't I done this before, people? Why haven't I done this before? This is the fishing I used to do. I love it. Love it. Oh, this is my new winter fun, people. This is an even bigger one. This guy's even bigger. Yeah, I want to keep him under control because I know he's going to friggin' freak. Oh, yeah. Come on, dude. Open up. Come on, open your stupid mouth. This is only going to hurt for a second. Oh. God, God, golly, they have tough mouths. Oh, why didn't I try this before? This is something I've wanted to do since I moved here and just haven't, just haven't. Well, now I'm hooked. <laughs> When they, when they say everything down here in Florida eats shrimp, they really mean it. Everything eats shrimp. This is a, he's a good 14, he's a good 15. 15, almost 16 inches. So, he's coming home. Oh, <laughs> This is awesome. This is awesome. There we go. Oh my, oh! Shoot. That was a good fish, man. Oh, wow, that was a good one. All right, I'm gonna have to put on heavier gear, I guess. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. Oh, boy, that was a monster. That was definitely a bigger fish, people. Oh, yeah, he snapped my leader right. He rubbed it right on a piling. Oh, man, that was a decent fish. Well, I think I'm gonna, um call this one a success I mean I did catch I did catch a couple um, but ever since I hooked that whatever it was that big thing or bigger thing um, nothing just nothing I haven't even felt anything yet so I think this bite is dead it's getting a little too late to go explore all them so I might save that for another day I think I'm going to um, I think I'm going to start heading back. All right, everybody. So mission accomplished. I set out to get sheep's head, and I brought two home, and lost a much bigger one. Uh, that is something that um, that I like doing. Uh, that kind of fishing, that structure, you know, uh, 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 structure-based fishing 
um, almost jigging in a sense. Uh, that I really enjoy. I mean, that's very reminiscent of what I did uh, when I was up north. So I'm going to explore more places for sheep's head and, 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 and maybe get on a black drum. Um, someone commented on my Facebook today, you know, have I ever targeted black drum? No, I haven't. It's on the list. Um, and that's something that I would like to do. So I'm going to explore, um, going to explore some more uh, areas and for, for sheep's head drum and that kind of thing. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking this year is going to be a big, big and better for, uh, for the charter and for the channel and everything else. I'm very optimistic. So on that note, uh, please like and subscribe. Please ring the notification bell. Please think about becoming a patron. I'd like to thank my patrons. If you are looking for a guide here in Southwest Florida, please consider um, hiring me. Uh, email me at fishingdips1 at gmail.com or give me a text or call at 239-406-2722. And I'll send you and give you all my guiding information. Um, super fun day. So until next time, I'll see you out there.